Hey guys, it's Sin Queen, and this is part 103 of the Aspirations Challenge, and this apparently is how we are starting this part. Um, Isabella forgot to clean the lint tray in the dryer, and we all know that can be a very fatal mistake. So she's on fire currently, but it's okay. Her dad's here to rescue her. Um, I didn't even tell him to go save her. He just kind of did it on his own, which I'm fine with. Um, so, of course, we're starting this part with my game lagging, and I don't know why this has to happen, but there we go. Okay, so the fire seems to be out, maybe. Oh wait, hold on. I think we're good. Megan's like, what What did you do? Everybody had to run upstairs to see what happened. Okay, so the insurance company gave us $410. We know that that never actually covers anything. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh. Everybody's phone is ringing? I feel like something bad happened. What's happening? Maybe not? Okay, we might be good. Okay, so we can replace these, unfortunately. Um, Isabella is off to school, so she can leave now. Um, so I have decorated their house entirely for Christmas because that is happening tomorrow. Um, so what we've done, I've got their Christmas tree here. Um, I put a, like a whole bunch of just, just, I feel like this family is really into Christmas. Like this little table here with Christmassy stuff on it. Um, the front yard, we have a wreath on the door, um, some snowmen in the front. Uh, we just have to put up some Christmas lights and use like the storage bins to do that. Uh, put some stuff on the table as well. Just like everywhere in the house. Um, there's like this, th these decorative, I don't even know what these are, but I put them above uh, a lot of the doorways. And then I also put another tree in this room here. Yes, they are a two tree family. <laughs> and upstairs, there's really nothing. So yeah, we have decorated uh, for the holidays. Christmas is tomorrow. Let's see what you're up to. Oh, he's crying in bed. Okay. Um, I don't know why he's crying. Did somebody die? Losing a parent. Okay, hold on a second. I did not get that notification. Who died? I'm very confused. Was it Sydney? It must have been Sydney. Because his dad is already dead. Um, Sydney, are you a ghost? She is a ghost. Sydney did pass away. That's really unfortunate. See, I was hoping she would be around for Christmas tomorrow. Oh, Sydney Kiloha. She has died. So that must have been what that phone call was all about. Uh, Makoa is still alive, but Sydney unfortunately has passed away. Um, so Max is going to be feeling that for a few days. He's going to be pretty sad about that. Um, why didn't this kid go to school? He's still freaking out about the fire. Where are you? It's over. You're fine. You can go to school now. I'm going to get them all to make friends, I think, for a little bit. Uh, what is she doing? Oh, hold on a second. Uh, for her next promotion, we have everything we need. Um, I guess what we could do is work on her writing. That's all we ever do because I really want um, Isabella to have a good amount of money to start her vet clinic. So we're trying to make as much money as we can. Um, no, don't waste time getting water. That's just stupid. Uh, I think... The clockwork carnival. Yeah, sure. All right, let's go see here. Um, select holiday decorations. Decorate eaves. Let's do some hanging uh, lights, maybe, like... I want red and green, I think. Oh, these ones are good. The multicolor. Let's do that. So he can come over here and put up those Christmas lights or not. Okay, I guess I have to move the bin. There we go. I knew I'd be using it at some point. Um, select... Decorate eaves, and I guess we could also rummage as well, um, but my rule is that like I think it's kind of cheaty to sell anything that you rummage for, because um, you could do it over and over again if you really wanted to. Bunch of tangled lights in there, we all know how that is. I think we'll just decorate the eaves, and then um, he can go get some food, I think. Clean out spoiled food and get leftovers. Put this in the sink. Um, also, I do think it's going to be Lincoln's birthday in this part. Um, in a couple of days, he ages up. So I'm not sure if that'll be in this episode, but I'm hoping it will be. Um, Abby is barking at Megan. That's She's not going to take you for a walk. She's very busy. Oh, hold on. We got our royalty report, which is $807. Um, got a reminder that tomorrow is Christmas, but we already know that. What is he doing? Oh, he's just cleaning up dishes. Max is really sad about the death of his mom. Understandably. Oh, let's put this in the trash. 
I guess he's just gonna have a slice of cake for breakfast. I don't really know. I don't think we have anything else in there. Um, also, I do want to decorate the tree. Um, we should probably look at tomorrow, see what all of our uh, traditions are because we could change them. I think we're gonna not invite guests. Um, we could do give gifts, um, baking, Father Winter. Yeah, we could do Father Winter. We could have that. Okay, so everyone will have the day off of school and work. We'll decorate, give gifts, grand meal, festive spirit, and Father Winter. So that's our plan for tomorrow. And Max, uh, he has to get to level eight of the fitness skill. We're doing pretty good with that. Um, we could definitely get him to work out a little bit more. I think after he's done eating his cake. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird, but when he's done eating his cake, he's gonna go work out. Uh, we'll do heavy lifting. And Megan is doing pretty good as well. Megan doesn't work today or tomorrow, so she has a couple of days to um, sort of get on top of the writing. I would love to be making a thousand dollars a day in royalties. I think that would be perfect. Why is he getting another phone call? Uh, Sydney is wondering if I want to come over. Nope, you died today, so you cannot come to my house. When you're done doing that, you can play video games. I guess we can also take Abby for a jog as well because that will help with his fitness skill and it'll make Abby happy. So maybe we could do that. Let's go, uh, where is Abby? She's downstairs. Okay, let's go, um, let's go here, go downstairs. And well, now where'd she go? What, really? Okay, call, call her up over to where you are. I went downstairs and she went upstairs, of course. I really want him to take her for a jog. There we go. Okay, let's go uh, pet care, go for a jog. Um, that'll probably make her happy. And Teddy is still just hanging out in his sweater. Um, I don't know what he wants from Megan, but again, barking up the wrong tree. Actually, you know what? Let's go publish this book. Um, well, you will sell to publisher. Um, she's also gaining quite a bit of fame too, which is nice. I actually don't, I don't really know why it's nice because I have never really, um, like I don't benefit from fame at all. I don't know how you're supposed to benefit from it. Let's go do some more writing. This time we'll do a screenplay. We'll just keep her, just keep writing. That's all we really care about. Um, it happened one lunch break. Sure, that sounds like a really bad screenplay. He has baby fever again, but we're past it. We've already got a teenager. We're about to have two. The baby making factory is closed. We're not having any more babies. Um, we did try once. We kind of did a bit of a gamble and it didn't happen. So that's a sign that we're not going to have any more kids. Um, Isabella, you need to have some fun desperately. Uh, what can we do for fun around here? I guess I could get her a laptop. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll buy her a laptop. That'll be her Christmas present. She's getting it early. Uh, because we have the space in her room on her desk to put a computer there. And laptops aren't that expensive. Um, just wanted to see if we had anything in our household inventory that we could sell. Oh, come on. I just, I, I just want a laptop. I know exactly where I'm going. Please let me get there. My game has been just terrible lately. Okay, uh, let's get just like this one. We can get the call. Four hundred, four thousand dollars. No, 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 no. This one's just a thousand. I think we'll just put that down. There you go. Okay, so Isabella is gonna go play some video games. Um, both the kids are doing pretty good. I'll get this one to play dolls and this one to take a bath. And then Max, oh, he's home, okay. He needs a shower though. He can go take a shower. Good, I was hoping they could decorate the tree tonight, but we might do that tomorrow. We do have the day off after all, so it's not that big of a deal. What are you doing? Oh, he just went up the stairs in a terrifying way. I did not like it. Uh, okay, so let's go. He's gonna make some dinner for everybody. Um, we'll do, what can we do? Vegetable chili, that sounds good. There's a lot of noise going on up here. Okay, so this kid has done his bath. Why do I feel like something's broken? I, okay. I thought I was hearing something that's broken, but I guess we're good. Um, Isabella, she's fine. Megan's mostly fine. Good, okay, we're doing okay. 
Um, the kids can just keep hanging out upstairs until the food is ready. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we will actually decorate the tree tonight if we can. Teddy wants to go for a walk, but it's not happening. Nobody has time for that. Okay, you can come downstairs. Um, let's get all the kids to go downstairs. Reach level two, the video gaming skill. Not really what I wanted for Isabella, but that's fine. Like, I'd rather her spend more time with her dog. Actually, I think, yeah, playing with Teddy would probably improve her mood quite a bit. Um, okay, I was going to call to meal, but whatever. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. And then Megan. You can finish your novel after. There we go. So it seems like Max is the only one that is affected by, um... You have to sit down. You can't just stand there and scarf your food down. Go sit, sit with your family, you freak. Yeah, Max is the only one who seems to be affected by his mother's death. Like, the kids seem to be doing okay, even though it was their grandma. And they did get to know her quite a bit. She was over for, like, all the holidays and stuff like that. Uh, Max can go to the washroom. Uh, Isabella, I think we're going to get her to go and give Teddy a treat and then um, play with him. Megan, uh, you can go finish your book. The other kids, like... I don't know, it just never, I don't really care what they do. <laughs> they seem to be mostly fine. Here, you can clean these up. This kid is squeamish. Uh, this one can take out the trash. And then Max, uh, he has some downtime. Let's get him to, um, actually, you know what? Isabella can put her food down. We're going to get Max and Isabella to decorate the tree together. Uh, decorate with, we'll do the garland. Uh, popcorn and cranberries with Isabella. There we go. They can have some family time together. I don't know if that's going to help with her fun. Most teenage girls don't like doing family things with their dad, so I don't know if she's going to enjoy it. Oh, she is! Oh, she's having quite a bit of fun, actually. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, or not. That, that sounds usually not a good one. Uh, what, what are you up to? He's just standing there. Oh, I broke the sink. You know what? Just replace it. I don't even care. I feel like I just break things constantly. You don't go to sleep. No, do your homework. That's more interesting. Oh, and Megan finished her novel. So we're going to publish that one as well. She wrote two books today. She's doing really well. Good. And then we'll, um, we'll decorate. We'll put some ornaments on here. Blue and white, red and gold. Uh, red and gold. I wish we had more options, though, because most of those are really ugly. There you go. Okay. Um, Megan finished her novel. She can go to the washroom. Why does it say take a pregnancy test? Hold on. Let me check things here. Let me just check out this situation. Okay, we're good. She's not pregnant, but she must have woohooed recently because there is that option. I think I'll get her to... Um, take some more birth control because these two could probably use a woohoo. Alright, um, Isabella, you can do the topper. We'll do a white and gold starburst. Max and Megan have plans. <laughs> They're going directly upstairs. Uh, woohoo with Max. What are you guys up to? He's going to bed? Okay. She's getting that topper on there. I guess we do need a tree skirt as well. Do we have time to just put one down? Um, decorate tree skirt, white and gold, red and gold. Um, I guess we'll do red and gold. I don't know. I have no idea. I always just do the same ones, I think. And then you can go to bed. Uh, where are both the kids? This one can go to sleep. The other one is already asleep, so we're good there. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Also, did the Christmas lights go up? Oh, they did. Good. Our house looks really nice. I mean, they don't... The, the lights kind of cut right across the window, but that's mostly fine. Uh, that looks really good, I think. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, she's going to finally go to bed now. That's good. So our tree is completely decorated. Uh, I know you can always just get this one, which comes pre-decorated, but I kind of like the idea of them being able to decorate it themselves. Um, hurry up and get up the stairs. 
I'm turning off the lights. <laughs> I don't want to wait for her anymore, so that's happening. Uh, also, I want to check our calendar here. So tomorrow is Christmas, the next day is New Year's Eve, and it's also uh, Lincoln's birthday. So um, I don't know if we'll do anything for New Year's Eve. Also, why is this kid awake? What are you doing? Go back to sleep. It's very weird. Um, he may have just been napping. For some reason, Sims will just can, like choose to nap instead of go to bed, and it's kind of weird. Um, so, Megan... I guess we could write a column for her work performance. She gets promoted very slowly, though, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, so, I guess what we could do is... Oh, you're up then? Well, it's a little bit early. <laughs> I mean, it's not unusual for me to wake my Sims up at, like, some ungodly hour. Okay, you can get up. Let's go, um, serve breakfast. We're gonna do French toast. I feel like a lot of people have something they always have for Christmas, like Christmas morning, like a tra traditional breakfast. Mine in my family was frittata, which I hate. I hated that. It was like just this gross egg bake that my grandma would make the night before and then just put in the fridge in the morning. Ew, I hated it. It was so gross. It had peppers and onions, which I hate. And um, she also made this bread. It was like a uh, Christmas bread called Stolen. I don't know if anybody else knows or has ever heard of that. It's like a, a very dense bread. It's, it weighs like a metric ton. It can be used as a weapon of mass destruction. It's very heavy fruit bread, basically. And I used to hate it, but now I miss it. I always wish that I could have it every Christmas morning. Uh, my grandma lives in Mexico now, though, so I don't get to see her. Anyway, that's just my little um, my little story about Christmas time. But yeah, nowadays, uh, mimosas. That's our Christmas thing. Every Christmas morning, we have mimosas. Hey, Megan, you can get up. Uh, let's do some laundry. One of the kids is, like, screaming in agony. Is the shower too hot? What's your problem? Yes, go set the table, please. Let Isabella have a shower. How are you doing? You're doing good. He's making French toast. Um, I like how he's the cook of the family. Megan, you will probably never catch her in the kitchen. It just doesn't happen. Unless, of course, she's coming to get a bowl of chili. Don't have that for breakfast. That's kind of weird. No, no, don't. He's having cake. Already everybody is out of control. There we go. Max is still in a sad... Oh, it looks like everybody is in a sad mood but Megan. Um, about the death of, um... Sydney. She died in a very unfortunate time. Christmas Eve, basically. That's really too bad. I was trying to get Isabella to sit with her family, but apparently she's not interested, so... What's that sound? Did the dogs just woohoo? No. Please no? Um, I don't want pug shepherds. Okay, she's not pregnant. I always think that's a woohoo sound, but I don't know for sure. Okay, Megan, you can go take a shower, and then I guess we could do gifts. I mean, we have to put presents under the tree, though, so we should probably just do that. Uh, let's go place present pile under the tree. Sydney's calling. Yes, I know, you're dead. Why is she crying? Oh, does she have a headache? Is that what that was? Oh, she's sad about her grandma dying. Okay, that's uh, that's reasonable. I'll accept that. There we go. Trees are under, or trees. Presents are under the tree. I'm gonna get her to come downstairs. All the kids should be ready to open presents. Um, you know what, Isabella? Let's do some Christmas spirit. Complain? No, don't complain. Uh, can you do anything positive? Share Christmas excitement. Something's broken again. What is it? Oh. He was using the sink. It's not broken. We're good to go. Let's uh, open some presents now. Let's do um, sing together light treat. No, it's not what I want. Open presents with everybody. There we go. She's talking about dogs, of course. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Okay, everybody open your presents. I want to see what you got so we can find out if we can sell them or keep them. <laughs> the good gifts I always keep, but if there's something that I don't think they would like very much, I always just sell them. Uh, uh, 
What's going on? Why aren't we opening presents? Okay, this is depressing. Try that again. Can they not do it for some reason? Uh, maybe the tree is... I don't know. Oh, there we go. He's opening a present. Okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, one caress scented candle. Okay. That's the best. Um, I, I like to see their reactions. Mostly, um, teenagers are like very unhappy with what they get, but it looks like Isabella is actually pretty pleased. Let's see here. Um, I can't seem to get a good, like her boob is in the way. I just want a picture of Isabella, not you. Good enough. What'd we get? Uh, one kept spice rack. I do believe the spice rack is kind of expensive as well, so I'm excited to sell that. Um, Lincoln got pet poop. Okay. Um, he was pretty stoked about it though, even though it's a really terrible present. That's good. Uh, and then these two... Could they do like a mistletoe kiss? Yeah, kiss under mistletoe. And then Isabella, um, Teddy really wants to go for a walk, so let's, um, play with him and then we will go for a short walk. There we go. Oh, we got, holy crap, we got $1,100 today for, oh, a lump of coal. Oh my god, the presents are so funny. Um, yeah, for her royalty reports, we got $1,100, so that's good. A uh, lump of coal is worth 10 bucks. Can we keep it and just put it somewhere? Here you go. It goes on your bookshelf. Um, the spice rack, like, do we even have use for this? Not really. It's kind of ugly. I've never really liked the spice rack that much. And it's worth 400 bucks, like, I should probably just sell it. And then the candles, um, I don't know if there's a good place for these either. We can always just put them in our bathroom. I kind of like that. We'll, we'll keep those. That's, that's good. I try to keep as much stuff as I can, but... Sometimes it's nice to be able to sell things, too. Okay, so Isabella is taking the dog for a walk. Um, you can go to the washroom. Megan got... Oh. I actually didn't even get a chance to read that. It looked like it was um, the nesting blocks. Oh, nope. A stack of books. That... Oh, I shouldn't have sold that. That's actually an appropriate gift for her. She's an author, after all. All right, you, speaking of being an author, you're going to go and write a playful book... Um, you are going to, no, don't make coffee. Fix the toilet, apparently. <laughs> Not make coffee, just fix the toilet. And then go work out. I feel like if we get a workout in every single day, he'll eventually be at the point where he, um, is like level 10 or at least an 8 is what we're going for. Did something else break now? No, but the house is kind of a mess. That's just the way it goes. How is she doing? Just walking, Teddy? Good. She seems, um... Oh, she's energized. I think she really likes doing that. Let's see, what is this thing? Good walk. A brisk walk is very satisfying for you and your dog. Um, she's feeling great. She's happy that she opened a present. So we're basically just fighting off those sad emotions from her grandma dying. Um, and I think it's going quite well. You broke your computer? No, repair it immediately. Repair. I believe that spellcasters have a spell for that, which is so handy. Okay, come on, it doesn't need to take that long. Good, keep writing. <laughs> just keep going. Uh, this I will just throw in the garbage because it's completely useless. Um, and then you, no, don't go cry in your bed. He's just never going to get over this, is he? Yeah, now that kid is crying. It's it's a very sad Christmas around here. Everybody is really sad and just cannot stop crying. Um, Teddy is hungry. Well, bring him home then. What are you doing? Oh, she is home. Well, then that's his problem because there's food right there. Replace with a prank gift? I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's dry the laundry. Um, do another load. All the exciting stuff. Also, it's we're coming into the weekend, so the kids don't really need to do their homework. I'm not really that worried about it. Um, oh, he's shoveling snow. Okay. 
Oh, we could have we could have had a snow day. That would have been fun. Here, you go out and uh, build a snow pal. And then you build a snow pal, and then you play in the snow. Everybody but Megan, because she's busy working. <laughs> Everyone else can have fun. And it'll be Lincoln's birthday tomorrow, right? Is that what I said? Yeah, tomorrow. What's your problem? Here, um, build a snow pal with Isabella. There we go. Oh, she is not wearing gloves. That does not look pleasant. Actually, he, Max is the only one that's actually wearing gloves. You can um, build a snow pal. I wish we could build igloos, igloos like we could in The Sims 3. I think it was The Sims 3. Maybe it was The Sims 2. I always get them confused. But we could build igloos, and that was really fun. Uh, let's go and do our grand meal now, I think. Uh, we will cook our turkey. Um, last night, my family had our Thanksgiving dinner. Um, in real life, by the way, is what I'm saying. Uh, in Canada, we celebrate Thanksgiving about a month early before um, Americans celebrate. And we celebrate it a week early because most of my family works at a town and everyone's home. So, yeah, making this turkey dinner is just bringing me back to last night. I love turkey dinner. It's so good. Abby is running away. All right, well, bye. Running away with this random guy, too. Okay, well, not much we can do about that. And did you finish your novel? Let's go sell it. Um, check for Christmas. Oh, I should do that. Let's do that. I'm not sure who would have sent them a gift. Definitely not Sydney, because she passed away. Definitely not Kaya, because she hates us. We should definitely revisit Kaya, though. Like, I want to come back to that. She was such an interesting character. Oh, this kid's going to pee himself. Why doesn't he, like, take care of his own bladder? It doesn't make any sense. He's making a mess. Where are you? No, clean this up. That is not necessary. Are we almost done? Also, did we get anything in the mail? Probably not. We got a seed pack. That's not very exciting. Okay, so he's going to put this meal down. I'll put it in the middle of the table. Or not. Why can't I put it in the middle of the table? I'm going to hurt someone. Oh my god, okay. I always can, but now for some reason I must need this on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so, um, also I don't need build mode, thanks, anyway. Um, how's everybody doing? I want to make sure they're actually going to come and get food. Call to grand meal. Russell. $910 from her day off, too. We are, we're making pretty good money now, finally. No, you stupid woman. Come get this turkey. Grab a serving. I want them to sit together. Are they going to do it? Ugh, sit there. They're not going to. Also, why is the phone ringing? Now who died? This is her stupid sister. <laughs> yeah, I do actually want to um, explore Kaya a little bit more, see what she's up to, see if her and uh, Max could rekindle their relationship. They haven't really talked in years. They never got along um, she's an evil sim, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, let's put this in the fridge. There we go. Everybody had their, um, turkey dinner. And now we're expecting Father Winter, I think. Um, he usually comes at around 8 o'clock. So I'm hoping he'll be here soon. Because I do have to end the part pretty quickly. Here, let's, uh, clean up the spoiled food. We're waiting for Father Winter. He usually comes at, I think, 8 and then stays practically overnight. He just never leaves. And, oh, let's, before we forget, post an, alert, uh, post an alert about our missing pet as well. Come on, let's do that. There we go. Okay, where's Father Winter? Oh, I hear him. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, we don't have a fireplace, but we do. Um, let's do a friendly sign autograph. She's that famous that she can sign autographs for people even as famous as Santa Claus himself. Oh, he's putting presents under the tree. That's so cute. Okay, let's do one more round of opening presents. If it'll let us. Because he put them there, so we should open them. Come on, everyone open presents. No, we're not going to? Okay. Let's try again. For some reason, Megan won't stop flirting with Santa. Stop it. Oh, they can't do it now. That's really upsetting. 
Yeah, what if I just do it like, here, open present. There we go. We'll just do it one at a time. Uh, open present. She got a, oh, Cox Crow table accent. That sounds like a terrible present. Um, get excited. Open present. What'd Max get? Uh, one would you believe stallion. Uh, Megan got one raw antique teapot. And the kids got a Boo Boo Bailey Doctor playset and a creative art thou activity table. And now this kid's gonna pee himself in front of Santa on Christmas. That is embarrassing. Anyway, I am going to leave this part right here. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.